show sketch 2, and hide the bodies. Create a sketch profile on the front plane. Give 0.15 mm distance on the outer lip that will be in contact with the body. Convert entities. Extend. And trim. Set the angle at 15 degrees. Linear dimensions at 49 millimeters. 5.5 millimeters. 0.9 millimeters. Exit sketch. Hide sketch 2. Show sketch 1. Choose swept surface. Select profile. Then select the path. OK. Show sketch 8. Create a new plane parallel to the top plane. Then draw a rectangle on the new plane. Set add relation in equal. And coincident. Set fillet radius at 18.5 millimeters. OK. Exit sketch. Choose the lofted surface. Then select two closed loop profiles. And select the guide curve. Under the option, uncheck merge tangent faces. OK. Create a planar surface. Right click, then choose Select Tangency. OK. Knit surface at Merge Entities. OK. Fillet radius at 9 mm. OK. Create a new plane parallel to the planar surface by 2.5 millimeters. Then create a square profile sketch. Add relation at equal. Set dimensions at 157 millimeters. Set fillet radius at 25 millimeters. Exit sketch. Then select the planar surface for the sketch. Delete face. Create an arc profile on the front plane. Set add relation to Pierce. OK. Make a centerline tangent to the arc. Copy the arc with the mirror command. 
Exit Sketch. Select the lofted surface. Click each arcs as a profile. Then select two guide curves as the path. Under the option, check close loft. OK. Knit surface, and check merge entities. OK. Fillet radius at 35 degrees. Extruded surface. Then sketch the polygon profile as relief points. Select an arc, then force it to follow the points. Copy the arc with the circular sketch pattern command. Set of 6. Exit sketch. Reverse direction, 15 depth, the draft angle at 10 degrees. Check cap end. OK. Trim surface. And knit surface. OK. Fillet radius at 2 mm. Six millimeters. And five millimeters. Select the revolved boss on the front plane. Then create a quarter circle profile. Set dimensions at 14.5 millimeters. And the radius is 19 millimeters. Exit sketch. OK. Create a flower-shaped handle. And make an arc profile as a tool. Choose the extruded boss. Convert sketch 15. Hide surface extrude 4. Add a center line and an arc.
Offset entities 10 millimeters. Extend entities. Add another arc. Add line. Add relation becomes tangent. Set dimensions at 10 millimeters. Three millimeters. Ten millimeters. Sixteen millimeters radius. Six millimeters. Trim entities. OK. Exit sketch. Depth at 12.5 millimeters. Uncheck merge result. The draft angle at 1 degree. OK. Create cut line on the right plane. Then select split, select bodies, cut bodies, check body 2 and check to consume cut bodies, OK. Make a split line on the top plane. Add relation at horizontal 21 millimeters width. Vertical. Exit sketch. Draft to the right plane. Use parting line type. and a 15 degree angle. OK. Fillet radius at 15 degrees. And 1 degree. OK. Choose a circular pattern. Click the body, set it free, and set the pattern axis. OK. Combine. OK. Select a shell. Set thickness at 0.85 mm. Click the bottom face. OK. Show surface bodies, then hide bodies. Create a circular profile of 39 millimeters in diameter. Then select the trim surface. Show bodies. Choose to thicken. Set the thickness at 0.85 millimeters outward. Click bodies to merge. OK.
set delay radius at 0.5 mm. Finally, make lifts on the legs. On the front plane, create a convert entity profile. Line. Arc. And center line. Add relation at a tangent. Trim entities. Set dimensions at 0.9 mm and 1.2 mm. Exit sketch. Show sketch 1 as a path. Click sketch 20, then select swept boss. OK. The cover, made of polypropylene plastic in clear color. Okay guys, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends if this tutorial is useful. See you.